think, I mean, the greatest thing for the students besides the exhibition opportunity is the scholarship themselves. I you know, spoke with a number of students who wouldn't be able to be completing their, uh, many are the BFA programs, so wouldn't be able to complete their BFA semester without the funds that are being dispersed. And uh, a number of people in the show are receiving a scholarship uh, designated for first generation students. So it's also helping quite a few students at the beginning of their education. This is, uh, it's, called Eros of Urbano, and uh, as I understand it, it's uh, referring to uh, paintings throughout art history depicting Eros, who is sort of like, a, is Cupid really, who is um, in a lot of these paintings sort of a sexy baby that all uh, women are sort of fawning over. And so this piece is sort of playfully looking back at that, and she you know, created this baby in kind of a, a classic uh, sort of Venus pose, um, being a bit seductive, but also revolting. And there's a bit of a, a play as it's displayed in the round where it's, uh, its genitals are kind of hanging up the back. So if you take the time to walk around and really look at it, you get part of There's about 30 students in the show, and it's split between the MK and ABE lobby galleries. Um, so downstairs is a little bit more painting focused, uh, you know, a black box kind of gallery with black walls that are in the AP. It's sort of a little moodier and vignetted and that seems, uh, I think, a little more tonally in line with a lot of the paintings that were submitted. And so up here in the MK, uh, the work is a little bit more design driven or photographically driven. That's part of the, the layout decision. It's a, you know, it's got a like, oil paint or something on top of the latex, so it's got this kind of crusty feel, but then if you, you, know, you put a little pressure on it, you can feel even the individual, there's sort of water absorbent beads on the inside that give it a little, little tension, a little squish.